Ah, Christmas. Memories of Christmas morning, and toys under the tree. I got lots of cool stuff when I was a kid. Stuff that kids today will never have, because of a silly thing called safety. This is a marvelous contraption called a vacuum form, from Mattel Toys. I got one of these for Christmas 1962. I was 6 years old. You put a sheet of plastic in a frame and melted it with a heated plate on one side. The plate got hot enough to cause third degree burns. The molten plastic could stick to your skin and burn it right off. Then you flipped it over onto a mold with a vacuum suction under it. To be fair I do remember successfully making a toy or two once I got the bandages off. My brother got this wood burning set when he was 10. He never demonstrated much artistic ability, but he was a real electronics wizard. So by the time I was old enough to remember, at about 4 years old, he was using it as a soldering iron when building his radio contraptions. I still have a star-shaped burn scar on my left foot. Memories, ah, my Gilbert chemistry set. Christmas 1964. I was 8 years old. It came fully equipped with dozens of chemicals that I found later was kept under lock and key in my college chemistry lab. Complete with glass wire, alcohol burner, and a book with directions for hundreds of experiments that produced, heat, noxious fumes, flying glass and other fascinating things. I kept my lab set up on a folding card table in my room. Fortunately, I managed not to burn down our house or poison myself. But there were some close calls. Christmas 1963 Santa brought me Big Lou. I was seven years old. I dreamed of getting this near life-size mechanical companion for months. This toy was actually pretty age and gender appropriate. He talked, and his eyes flashed. He fired projectiles from every conceivable part of his body. Looking back, I think this is what annoyed my sister about him. Or maybe she was just jealous because he was bigger than her bride doll. In any case, I loved Big Lou, and kept him in more or less working order until I was about 10 years old. I'd never advocate giving children dangerous toys. But I will say that I learned a lot of pretty valuable stuff playing with these and many other things like them growing up. Much of the knowledge I gained in play shaped my development as a person and the career path that I chose as an adult. Children have to be given a chance to learn things firsthand.